from alloy, which is one of the alloys that we use in dentistry for doing crown and bridge work. So, in any event, I just want to show you, I subjected this to a very, very minor form of uh, polarization with the same regimen, high voltage, um, initially with 0.75 amp, and then I did a, a slightly shorter pulse with 32 volts and probably 0.4 amp, slightly sustained, but I just want you to watch this voltage. Now, I did not polarize this with the same intensity that I did the carbon cell, nor with the carbon magnesium cell, so I just want you to see this. So alloys make a huge difference, okay? Here we go. This is on voltage. Do you see that? To me, that's inexplicable. Um, this is a high palladium alloy, 2.65 volts. Now I'm going to try to switch this to the amperage. And I'm trying to film this with one hand, so please forgive me if this drops. Okay, so I'm going to move this to the milli, uh, milliamp range here. And see if you can see this, okay? So I'm putting this here again. The magnesium and the palladium alloy. See that's 60 milliamps, almost 60 milliamps, and that is a very, very small piece of metal, centimeter by a centimeter perhaps. So we have fifty nine milliamps, and again, I will move this back down to the voltage setting. It's the twenty volt setting just for grins. And again, show. Two point six four volts. Alloys seem to make a big difference. And this is the Knee NEY Acclaim Light. And I'll try to find the exact constituency of this alloy for everybody's reference. Thank you very much. Have a great night.